Thank you. Um, and I just wanted to thank the organizers uh, for this event and for all of their support. Um, so uh, I, um, my project is multifaceted, so I'm just going to talk about one part of it um, that involved the research assistants, um, Jade Montanez and Ive Simpson, both of whom couldn't be here today, but I just want to thank them for all of their uh, fantastic work. Um, so I'm going to talk about, for the next few minutes, my aha moment, and this is more like a lesson in reinventing the wheel. Um, everything I'm about to say will be old hat to anybody trained in empirical research methods, uh, but I'm a philosopher. I'm trained in arguments, not in people, um, and in particular, not in recruiting people to participate in things, and more specifically, not in recruiting people who are members of marginalized groups of which I am not a part. So many of you um, who are trained in these areas can roll your eyes at the kind of privileged white philosophy professor attempting to do empirical research um, on issues of health and healthcare of trans and gender non-binary folks. Um, but to state uh, for what uh, to state what is for many the obvious. Um, but I'm glad to hear that this is a difficulty for those who actually are trained in these areas as well. Um, it was really difficult to recruit members of these communities to come and talk to me about their experiences in healthcare. Um, and I didn't fully or properly grasp the extent to which I was asking complete strangers to trust me with their vulnerabilities. Um, so I didn't foresee just what I was asking people to do, namely to talk about their painful, often traumatic experiences in healthcare. Um, and all of this came to the fore when one of the participants in my first focus group rather flippantly to him mentioned, although it was sort of this punch in the face of privilege for me, um, that before having come to the focus group, he'd given his location to his family members and friends in case of, in, you know, in case he didn't come back, in case there was some kind of emergency. And again, that was sort of this key moment in my research um, of realizing just how personal focus groups can be um, and just how much the participants were giving of themselves. Um, so I'm extremely grateful to those who participated and who shared their stories and experiences, often very difficult ones, with me. Um, a final aha moment um, was the extent to which the focus groups were also psychologically difficult on account of their intensity um, for me and my research assistants. And I don't mean to say this as a kind of, it was so hard for me you know, to hear all of these painful, horrible things that happened. Um, but again, not having a background in social work or in um, clinical psychology, um, it, I, I didn't anticipate how taxing it was, sort of in a good way, but nevertheless, how taxing it was for everybody to sit through and listen to um, the, the very real and painful and traumatic experiences that many of the individuals had had within the context of healthcare. Um, so that's, that was my aha moment.